For well, both of them. Uh, I think they've done very well today. Uh, it's been a, a good do. <laughs> anyway, shall we all drink to them, please? The toast is health, wealth, happiness and a successful marriage, Frank and Pat. Frank and Pat. I'm a bit sick. First minute thing you to feel sick. Take some deep breaths. God. Mm. Is the pain coming? A little bit. Yes. Put your mask. Don't come in, then. All right, dear. Get your pain gone. And uh, Lord Mayor, the minutes of the Housing Committee on page 176 are moved by Alderman Lambert and seconded by Councillor Jones. Question? Yes, Lord Mayor. Question I'd like to ask the um, Chairman, and I apologise for not having given him notice of this, although in my view notice isn't necessary. Well, you could stop talking over there. Thank you. Surprised at that re uh, request, <laughs> Lord Mayor. Uh, perhaps it's because I was looking down at the minutes, but the question is, what effect will this increased scale of needs allowances have generally upon rebates in Sheffield and upon the incidence of the increase of 50p per week, which will come into effect at the same time, that is, the 1st of October, My very deepest sympathy with you at this time, and uh, how are you? Well, it wasn't my pleasure to know him, but uh, no. you're a Sheffield family, I yes, understand, no, and uh, no, yes. that's good. And yes. uh, well, I'm sure he lived a jolly good life, <laughs> and uh, you'll have a lot of happy memories. Yes, that's the yes. thing. You can it, you can live with those a little bit, can't yes, you? That's right. Yes, hello. And are you all sisters and brothers? Yes. And so on. For as much then as it hath pleased Almighty God of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother here departed, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen.
shot. Well, it's tea time, and I can tell you it's tea time without even looking at the clock. I'll tell you why. Nellie's just come in with the uh, with the afternoon tea. Here it is. What cannot speak cannot lie. All right, let's have tea for two. Let's have it together, shall we, with uh, Cha Cha Tempo? There it is. Ray McVay. Take it away, Ray. in in March and we've had trouble since we come in I think what it is I think they're just jealous because we're young and we've got a child in the hand Is it on? Yeah, right. That walks on that. All right, I have to check it tomorrow. If I catch you riding at it again, right? You walk on it until you get your new bike back. All right? Yes, five months and one week. You started in 1923? March 26, yes. My God, that's a long time ago. Before, before I was here, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, as part of this, to sort of celebrate the um, great occasion for the company, yeah. um, the board have decided to give you a small presentation to mark the occasion. Not yeah. only your birthday, your retirement, the first under the scheme. And here is a canteen of best Sheffield cutlery we like to give you. That's very nice. I appreciate that very, very much. Very much. Congratulations. We're delighted to be able to do very this. Much, yes. um, we've had it inscribed on the top. Thank you, sir. But what are you going to do with yourself now? Well, I like a bit of gardening. A bit of gardening. I'm going to get an allotment. Yeah. Um, one at the back of the house, as it yeah. is. I like to do a bit of fishing. I like to get out in fresh air as much as I can. Yeah. I think I'll spill my time in. There's, there's one point I would like to make, Harold. Uh, it's a personal one that um, I don't think people realise just how much companies like this and the industry as a whole um, owe to people like yourself who work for the same company for 50 years, taking the ups and the downs, and putting all back into it year in, year out. Yeah. And we appreciate it very much indeed because, quite honestly, what people like you do in this industry. Um, on that depends, quite honestly, the standard of living of everybody in this country. Yes. And particularly the way and the prospects of this particular company. Yeah. You've had the rough times. Um, they're not always um, the fault of the works. Uh, there are various other factors come into it. No. 
And you, my God, you must have seen a lot of changes in this country. I've seen a lot of changes, yes. yes. I've been of in people. a lot of changes as well. You've been in a lot of changes. Yes. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yes. You've uh, really enjoyed the 50 years? Yes, it's been a pleasure working here. Mm. Been nice I wish I could go so. on another 50. I wish I could. Finally, Harold, um, keep in touch. Yes. We'll oh. certainly see you with the Jubilee Association, dinner yes, every year. Drop down, I drop down we'll look to forward to seeing you. Drop uh, down, see how things are going. Yes. And um, I hope you catch some fish. Fish? Well, I've caught some of them in my time. But <laughs> good. that fresh air is good. It is. Well, very many good wishes to you. Have a long and happy retirement. Right. And your wife, too. Right. Thank and you very And thank much. you very much indeed for what you've done for the company. Right. Ah, here's this. Would you like to take it or should we send it on? Here you are. You can I'll carry it up. Here. In the car, Mr. Right. Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you so much, Harold. Thank you. We'll see you on. All the best, Harold. Yes. Hope you enjoy your retirement as much as you've enjoyed your working life, in which case you'll be very, very happy and very successful too. Yes. Right. Thank you. Bye, Harold. Bye.
being a good dog. Yeah, she's been a good girl. Right. Have you had a good day then? <coughs> oh. I've had to get back, I'll yeah. tell you that. I've had to get back. <coughs> Yeah, because now you've had a nice day anyway. Oh, I've had Did you done any work? I've done no work. I wouldn't oh, got out of that nicely. Nice, it well. took me 50 years to get out on it, but I got out of that. Oh, I'm pleased that you know me. Yes, very nice. Yeah. you got and some nice know. presents, then. This is a nice well, surprise, isn't it? It's all these nice things. Well, Doreen and Bob wrote Oh, yes. Oh, and the there. children, as they've come there from oh, Kim and Craig. Craig. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm oh, sure. sure. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Oh, it's marvellous, isn't it? I wanted one of these all my life. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I feel really have to write a, a nice letter to him. Who's this from the management? Yeah. Isn't that marvellous? It really is gorgeous. That did come as just a big surprise, then. Have you got a pain? Hmm? No. no. This is not so bad. This is one kind of pain. Me. Come on. Come on, there's bags of room. Put your bottom down. Now push, come on. Push. That's it, now keep it moving. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Quick breath and push, Linda. Now this is it, come on. Come on. Come on, keep it moving. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, push. A bit more, come on, it's almost out. Push. Push.
across to the news desk and David Atkins. The deadline set by terrorists holding the Saudi Arabian embassy in Paris is due to expire about now. They've threatened to blow up the building. Inside are seven hostages and the terrorists say they want a plane to take them out of France and the release of a Palestinian prisoner held in the Middle East. The talks on the economy between the TUC and the government are to continue. But one of the BBC's industrial staff says a counter-resolution has placed such restrictions on the talks that they're likely to break down. Now Northern Ireland, a farmer in County Fermanagh was killed today when he drove his tractor over a mine on a road near the Irish Republic border. The Duke of Edinburgh has arrived in Kiev to attend the European Horse Riding Championships in which Princess Anne is competing. He flew from Moscow with Princess Anne's fiancé, Captain Mark Phillips. Princess has been training Kiev for the past week in preparation for the defence of her individual title. Now the cholera outbreak in Italy, and British travel agents have cancelled more holidays in parts of southern Italy. Coach tours and sea cruises are being diverted away from the Bay of Naples. Now the warm day is expected tomorrow, with temperatures rising to a maximum of 25 degrees centigrade. And that's it from the news desk.